everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm starting a new series with the Silk and Sonder planner books this one is the April 2020 and it's gorgeous look at the flowers on here I am actually I don't use planners too much most of my paper crafts is mailing but I've been wanting to get into planning and I thought this would be a great step-by-step -step way to learn planning and also have some gorgeous planners. So this is the April one. These beautiful blossoms on it. And you have an area here to put to put your info in on it. And it tells all these different features they have inside. Here's some instructions. It's pretty much recommendations on how to get the best out of your wellness journal. And this is this is um, something that's for yourself to make sure you are taking care of yourself. So here's the year. It's gorgeous. And here's the month. Beautiful. I love all these graphics. They're beautiful. I'm very happy I started with this because I think this will be great for me. Oh, and you can look ahead to May, June, July, and August. I mean, can you see those beautiful flowers? Looks like the same flowers are the theme. Now you can, um, right here, you write about the month before. I'm still in March. <laughs> there is some things about hard moments and things, and I'm pretty sure our current situation is going to be going in here with our stay at home life right now and April actually this would be a great way to plan out my April because with everything changing this might be a good way to really um, manage ahead and try to prepare myself for what I'm about to achieve in April alright habits this month if you want to get into a new habit mark down each day that you did it and your moods I guess you can color the tops and then write the moods on the bottom of this line and then each day you color in your biggest mood for the day gratitude everything a day you're grateful oh I love that this I definitely will be doing. I think it's a great idea. I think it's really good, especially in our current situation, our current worldly climate right now. It would be good to every day think about the things that we are thankful for. I think that's perfect. Wheel of Life. For each of these areas in your life, rank them between 1 to 10 based on how fulfilled you feel. Okay, so... You can work on these areas of your life. Vulnerability journaling prompts. Oh, okay. So this is the kind of thing that makes you really open up to yourself and really tell yourself what you need. What lights you up? Who would you want giving toasts about your life at your 95th birthday party? That's right here. All these things that you need a little self-evaluation that could be good oh I love this book write a letter to yourself right here just a little bit for how you are right now it's a little free writing okay duality is if you are one way but you're also another way okay all right, it's a little bit of duality exercise there. Coloring page, very fun. That's a good stress relief one day or over several days. Nice little quote. Oh, oh, I did not know there was recipes in here. Well, 
I'll probably be trying that was just a couple of them stuffed acorn squash and cold lemon noodles I'm sorry cold lemon zoodles very cool just some place for notes two pages worth another quote here and your expense tracker oh that's good I like that really see what you're doing probably gives you a visualization of what you could cut down on how you can help yourself week 14 oh this is for the whole week this whole section so there's meal planning which is awesome I love meal planning and you have it an activity tracking for the week your mind and body health plan shopping list and for the week you can think of a great food memory or song that you liked and this is how you want to feel and this is some goals right there it's great and I guess each week probably is similar you can plan out your week a little bit One thing, one thing, one thing. Okay. More notes. <laughs> Sorry, I went too far. Yep. Each week they have the same thing. Oops, I'm skipping ahead. I'm sorry. This is week 16. It all looks exactly the same. Same words and everything. Except for the quotes up here are different. 17. And 18. This is where you'd get your next journal soon. So you would start getting into it. I do love the flower graphics. I know I've said this a few times. And I guess it explains what Sonder is, the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own, populated with their own ambitions, friends, routines, worries, and inherited craziness, an epic story that continues invisibly around you. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so this was, like I said, this is my first one. I'm very happy with it, and I cannot wait to use this as my planner for April and I am also already very excited to see what May is going to be looking like. I love the graphics, I love the fonts, and I love the ideas in this book. So this is definitely a win for me and I will be showing you more of these every month and I cannot wait to share them with you. If you like this or my video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of fun things for you. Hope you all have a great day. Bye!